RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner operated by the White Star Line that sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on April 15, 1912, after striking an iceberg during her maiden voyage from Southampton to New York City. Of the estimated 2,224 passengers and crew aboard, more than 1,500 died, making the sinking at the time one of the deadliest of a single ship and the deadliest peacetime sinking of a superliner or cruise ship to date. With much public attention in the aftermath, the disaster has since been the material of many artistic works and a founding material of the disaster film genre. RMS Titanic was the largest ship afloat at the time she entered service and was the second of three Olympic-class ocean liners operated by the White Star Line. She was built by the Harland and Wolf Shipyard in Belfast. Thomas Andrews, chief naval architect of the shipyard at the time, died in the disaster. Titanic was under the command of Captain Edward Smith, who went down with the ship. The ocean liner carried some of the wealthiest people in the world, as well as hundreds of emigrants from Great Britain and Ireland, Scandinavia, and elsewhere throughout Europe, who were seeking a new life. In the United States, the first-class accommodation was designed to be the pinnacle of comfort and luxury, with a gymnasium, swimming pool, libraries, high-class restaurants, and opulent cabins. A high-powered radio telegraph transmitter was available for sending passenger Marconi grams and for the ship's operational use. The Titanic had advanced safety features, such as watertight compartments and remotely activated watertight doors. The ship carried 16 lifeboat davits which could lower three lifeboats each, for a total of 48 boats. However, Titanic carried only a total of 20 lifeboats, four of which were collapsible and proved hard to launch during the sinking. The carried lifeboats were enough for 1,178 people about half the number on board, and one-third of her total capacity due to the maritime safety regulations of those days. At the time of the sinking, the lowered lifeboats were only about half filled. After leaving Southampton on April 10, 1912, Titanic called at Cherbourg in France and Queenstown, now Cobite, in Ireland, before heading west to New York. On April 14, Four days into the crossing and about 375 miles, 600 kilometers, south of Newfoundland, she hit an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. ship's time. The collision caused the hull plates to buckle inwards along her starboard, right, side and opened five of her 16 watertight compartments to the sea, she could only survive four flooding. Meanwhile, passengers and some crew members were evacuated in lifeboats, many of which were launched only partially loaded. A disproportionate number of men were left aboard because of a women and children first protocol for loading lifeboats. At 2.20 a.m., she broke apart and foundered with well over 1,000 people still aboard. Just under two hours after Titanic sank, the Cunard liner RMS Carpathia arrived and brought aboard an estimated 710 survivors. The disaster was met with worldwide shock and outrage at the huge loss of life, as well as the regulatory and operational failures that led to it. Public inquiries in Britain and the United States led to major improvements in maritime safety. One of their most important legacies was the establishment of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SALAS, in 1914, which still governs maritime safety. Several new wireless regulations were passed around the world in an effort to learn from the many missteps in wireless communications which could have saved many more passengers. The wreck of Titanic was discovered in 1985 by a Franco-American expedition sponsored by the United States Navy. The ship was split in two and is gradually disintegrating at a depth of 12,415 feet, 2,069.2 fathoms, 3,784 m. Thousands of artifacts have been recovered and displayed at museums around the world. Titanic has become one of the most famous ships in history depicted in numerous works of popular culture, including books, folk songs, films, exhibits, and memorials. Titanic is the second largest ocean liner wreck in the world, only being surpassed by her sister ship HMHS Britannic, however, she is the largest sunk while in service as a liner, as Britannic was in use as a hospital ship at the time of her sinking. The final survivor of the sinking, Milvina Dean, aged two months at the time, died in 2009 at the age of 97. Once the massive loss of life became known, White Star Line chartered the cable ship CS McKay Bennett from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, to retrieve bodies.
Three other Canadian ships followed in the search, the cable ship Minia, lighthouse supply ship Mont Magny and Sealing, vessel Algerine. Each ship left with embalming supplies, undertakers, and clergy. Of the 333 victims that were eventually recovered, 328 were retrieved by the Canadian ships and five more by passing North Atlantic steamships. The first ship to reach the site of the sinking, the CS McKay Bennett, found so many bodies that the embalming supplies aboard were quickly exhausted. Health regulations required that only embalmed bodies could be returned to port. Captain Larnder of the McKay Bennett and undertakers aboard decided to preserve only the bodies of first-class passengers, justifying their decision by the need to visually identify wealthy men to resolve any disputes over large estates. As a result, many third-class passengers and crew were buried at sea. Larnder identified many of those buried at sea as crew members by their clothing, and stated that as a mariner, he himself would be contented to be buried at sea. Bodies recovered were preserved for transport to Halifax, the closest city to the sinking with direct rail and steamship connections. The Halifax coroner, John Henry Barnstead, developed a detailed system to identify bodies and safeguard personal possessions. Relatives from across North America came to identify and claim bodies. A large temporary morgue was set up in the curling rink of the Mayflower Curling Club and undertakers were called in from all across eastern Canada to assist 248 some bodies were shipped to be buried in their hometowns across North America and Europe. About two-thirds of the bodies were identified. Unidentified victims were buried with simple numbers based on the order in which their bodies were discovered. The majority of recovered victims, 150 bodies, were buried in three Halifax cemeteries, the largest being Fairview Lawn Cemetery followed by the nearby Mount Olivet and Baron de Hirsch cemeteries. In mid-May 1912, RMS Oceanic recovered three bodies over 200 miles, 320 kilometers, from the site of the sinking who were among the original occupants of Collapsible A. When 5th Officer Harold Lowe and six crewmen returned to the wreck site sometime after the sinking in a lifeboat to pick up survivors, they rescued a dozen males and one female from Collapsible A, but left the dead bodies of three of its occupants. After their retrieval from Collapsible A by Oceanic, the bodies were buried at sea. The last Titanic body recovered was Steward James McGrady, body number 330 found by the chartered Newfoundland sealing vessel Algerine on May 22 and buried at Fairview Lawn Cemetery in Halifax on June 12. Only 333 bodies of Titanic victims were recovered, one in five of the over 1,500 victims. Some bodies sank with the ship while currents quickly dispersed bodies and wreckage across hundreds of miles making them difficult to recover. By June, one of the last search ships reported that life jackets supporting bodies were coming apart and releasing bodies to sink. In January 1912, the hulls and equipment of Titanic and Olympic had been insured through Lloyds of London and London Marine Insurance. The total coverage was 1 million, 102 million today, per ship. The policy was to be free from all average. Under 150,000, meaning that the insurers would only pay for damage in excess of that sum. The premium, negotiated by brokers Willis Faber and Company, now Willis Group, was 15s, 75p, per 100, or 7,500, 750,000 today, for the term of one year. Lloyds paid the White Star Line the full sum owed to them within 30 days. Many charities were set up to help the victims and their families, many of whom lost their sole wage earner, or, in the case of many third-class survivors, everything they owned. In New York City, for example, a joint committee of the American Red Cross and Charity Organization Society formed to disperse financial aid to survivors and dependents of those who died. On April 29, opera stars Enrico Caruso and Mary Garden and members of the Metropolitan Opera raised $12,000. $300,000 in 2014, in benefits for victims of the disaster by giving special concerts in which versions of Autumn and Nearer My God to Thee were part of the program. In Britain, relief funds were organized for the families of Titanic's lost crew members, raising nearly 450,000, 45 million today. One such fund was still in operation as late as the 1960s. In the United States and Britain, more than 60 survivors combined to sue the White Star Line for damages connected to loss of life and baggage. The claims totaled $16,804,112, 
APPR $419 million in 2018 USD.